Welcome to Leaxcode. In today's episode, we're going to be creating and adding more awesome commands to our music system that we created two episodes ago. If you don't have that system already, click the card up to the right of your screen to watch it. And if you want to, to download the whole source code of this bot, you can support me on Ko-fi and uh, get all membership benefits. All right, so what we're going to be doing, first of all, is we're going to be cleaning up our code and adding some more emojis to um, make the boat a little bit uh, colorful all right so let's go ahead and do that to all of our responses and then we'll be starting to add more commands Alright, so once we have done cleaning up some of the code and making it look a little bit nicer, uh, we're going to be adding four more options or four more choices. Uh, so the first one is going to be shuffle queue, which will be able to uh, shuffle your whole queue. Let's have, let's say you have 10 um, songs inside of your queue and you want to listen to them randomly, not in order, so you can shuffle them. Then we're going to have a toggle auto play mode. Um, so basically toggle auto play is self-explanatory. Then we're gonna have an add related song uh, option which will uh, make the bot add a song related to the song already playing to the queue. Then we're gonna have a toggle repeat mode so you can toggle, uh, toggle the repeat mode to repeat the song that's already playing or to repeat the whole queue uh, over and over again. So let's add these options and add their emojis and we'll go down to writing the actual commands. Alright, so now that we have uh, or we're done with adding the choices and optimizing the command overall, uh, what we're going to be doing is actually coding the, the actual code for these options or choices. So we're going to go down to the switch statement over here and let's make it more clear on the eye and make uh, and space them out a little bit. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is opening a little bit of space between the resume uh, command and the queue and uh, here what's uh, we need to do is actually copy let's copy the resume uh, command all right and paste it under it and change the name of resume to shuffle because that's the command we're going to be doing uh, first so and we're going to change this so q dot shuffle instead of resume and here you can change the text uh, so you can make it um, let, let's add a quick emoji and say that q has been shuffled all right uh, and uh, for the next, for the next uh, thing we're gonna create the auto play. So let's copy this again, paste it under it, and instead of this, we're gonna type auto play. Now make sure these cases are the exact names of or, of the values of these uh, choices. So auto play, and uh, and here we're gonna change this to be late mode equals to await q dot. And here we're gonna change the q to toggle auto play sorry with the lowercase p full channel and here we can change the the message so we're going to remove the quotes and it's going to be back ticks so what we're going to do is let's add the auto play for example uh, i don't know which one it was but let's take this for example and here we're going to type auto play um, mode is set to and here we're gonna add the dollar, dollar sign and the curly brackets and we're gonna type mode que type mode question mark on or off pretty simple so now we're done with our autoplay command all right now for our add related song command we're gonna copy the shuffle again all right let's copy and paste it and instead of shuffle it's gonna be related song let me double check if it's the exact same thing here so yeah related song 
All right, so here instead of q.shuffle, we're gonna type add a related song just like this, and we can change the text. So let me do that real quick. Let's add this random emoji and say a related song has been added to the queue. Pretty simple. And now we're gonna go down a couple more lines and we're gonna copy the autoplay one. All right, we paste it here and change the autoplay to repeat mode. Let's check if it's the exact, exact same here. Repeat mode it is. All right. So instead of let mode, uh, we can type let mode 2, for example, it's, it doesn't really matter, but uh, whatever. Uh, so in here, we're going to change this for instead of Q, Q uh, autoplay, whatever, we're going to type client.disqueue.set repeat mode, and here we're going to pass in the queue. All right, once that is done, uh, we're going to change the autoplay here to repeat mode is set to whatever so inside of this curly brackets uh, let me remove all of this and we, what we're gonna tap is mode 2 is equal to sorry equal to mode 2 question mark mode 2 is double equal so it can convert the string of whatever to 2 question mark q and then we're gonna have the song all right, so what this is, is basically is gonna shake. So what type of mode it is, if it's Q, if it's song, or it's off. So all right, so now that we're basically done with the command uh, or the new commands, let's close this line. We're gonna go ahead and fix a small issue that happened in our distube events. So I know this is the mess. You can edit it to be whatever you want, but I'm gonna go with it for now. So, uh, some, uh, or always, the empty, when the channel is empty and the bot is trying to leave, this is going to crash the bot. Why? Because the channel parameter that we provided here is not the correct one. So let's go to our DJS announcements and I explained why we got this error because their documentation is very, it's very old, it's not updated. So the fix for it is copy this, All right? Uh, you don't need to copy all of it, so let's copy this. So instead of channel and channel.send, we can type q, then error function q dot, uh, dot send, and we should be good to go. And that's that's the fix really. So now let's um, start our bot real quick. Don't worry about this uh, warnings. It's just me playing around. Uh, so let's uh, let's actually play music. All right, so play. You won't hear the music because I don't record my desktop audio. So let's tap whatever, and. Uh, now it's playing and now if you type settings you can see all of the different options that we have for example uh, toggle uh, autoplay mode and uh, settings we can go to add related song so now we can go settings vq and now we, we see a new related song and then what we can do is uh, shuffle but you won't see it because it's only two songs and uh, actually i'm gonna add another song all right so let's say just to show you, so music, play, uh, whatever. All right, so now we have three songs inside of the queue, like you see here, so I'm gonna shuffle it now. So music, settings, shuffle queue, and then let's open the queue again. Uh, well, check my lockout, guys. So let's shuffle it again. Music settings, VQ. Hmm, am I being just unlucky or it's not shuffling? No, nah, it should be shuffle. Let's add another song. Music play, whatever. So, music settings VQ, this is the Q. Now, music settings shuffle Q. And now, if you view the Q again, so view Q. Like you see it shuffled, I was just being unlucky because there's just a few songs in the queue. Alright, so, and then settings, we can uh, toggle autoplay, I already show you, I already show you this. Repeat mode to song, and then if you click on it again, it's gonna be queue, and if you click on it again, it's gonna be off. You can make it its own slash command, but it's necessary. But yeah, that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for all of the supporters. Uh, let me show you the supporters. 
thank you for all of these supporters that shows to support the channel and i hope to see you guys in the next episode